It's a 1965 Corvair Corsa factory turbocharged Los Angeles built car. Sequence body number 1588. During the restoration of the car, the complete underbody was detailed, all new suspension, transaxle rebuilt, drum brakes all around, aftermarket quick steering arms. Tires front and rear are 225 50 15s on American Racing Mags. Front shocks are Coney's. Rear shocks are KYBs. The wheel wheel trim is 66 and later. The bumpers were re-chromed. Other bright work was polished and redone. All new emblems during restoration. The interior was redone. Seats reupholstered. Door panels are in great shape. Headliner, excellent. All gauges work. The factory clock was converted to a quartz movement. The factory boost vacuum gauge has been replaced with an autometer boost gauge. Two auxiliary gauges below the ashtray, volts and oil temperature. AM radio. The engine was rebuilt with all the premium parts, forged pistons, molly rings. It's got a Clark's aluminum oil pan. Valve covers are stock stamped steel. The rotating assembly is balanced. The heavy duty pressure plate bolted flywheel good clutch clutch works very nicely the fuel injection conversion was designed as a prototype to be a bolt-on system no modifications to the cylinder heads or any other external part of the engine the stock chrome intake crossover tube was modified with three injectors on each side the YH carburetor is converted to a throttle body with throttle position sensor mounted on it. The stock air cleaner then fits along with all the other parts for the turbocharger. So it looks relatively stock, giving you greatly increased performance and drivability. Better fuel economy, better drivability, better throttle response with a fuel injection. Fuel injection system is by Racetech in Canada. It's fully programmable and adjustable, crank triggered, distributorless. The crank trigger is a hidden system where there's no external tone ring or tooth wheel on the crank pulley. So it looks very clean. You don't have any obstruction from the fan belt. Coil packs give you a hotter spark and a higher output spark than you get with a distributor and a coil. Also, since there's no distributor cap, you don't have the potential of carbon tracing in the cap or cross firing in between the small terminals on the cap which is especially important under high boost levels. All the sheet metal is powder coated, including the fan, oil fill cap, alternator housing is polished, turbocharger compressor housing is polished, exhaust housing is ceramic coated as well as all the exhaust pipes, the inlet pipe and the outlet pipe and the crossover pipe ceramic coated. Fuel delivery is afforded by the in-tank fuel pump. The tank was modified with a full length baffle Pump sits on the bottom of the baffle, minimizes fuel slosh in hard corners and aggressive driving. An in-tank pump runs cooler than an external pump. The conversion of fuel injection greatly increased the drivability and the power of the engine. The YH carburetor was converted to a throttle body, bored out to one and a half inches, same diameter as the throttle plate. That increased the flow of the carburetor and doubled the potential boost of the engine. They're about doubling the horsepower. A good running stock 180 Corvair generally gets boost top end of third gear. This car gets boost in first gear, about five PSI. Second gear, about 12 PSI. Third gear, up to 15 PSI. You're in second. So it's idling at, and it's, it's moving foot off the throttle and then just a little bit on the throttle. Drivability is greatly improved. You can lug the engine down at a thousand RPM in fourth gear and accelerate smoothly all the way up to redline. There's no hesitation, no shuddering. Cold starts and hot restarts are not an issue. Unlike the stock YH, which is prone to fuel boiling during hot resoak, the fuel injection doesn't have any of those issues. This fuel injection conversion was done approximately eight years ago and has been running flawlessly since the install.